Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope that you guys are doing really wonderful this morning. And so of course, I'll be taking you through what is currently happening across the North Atlantic. We've got quite some activity in some areas, uh, three tropical waves moving across the tropical Atlantic. And so I'm going to be giving you guys the latest on that as well as uh, the forecast in terms of rainfall activity throughout today. And so of course, before I go into details, please do subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update. All right, and so let's go ahead and return to this satellite imagery here, and we can definitely see that there is quite some activity across some areas. Uh, and as I mentioned earlier, three tropical waves are moving across the tropical Atlantic. And so uh, with those first two, there isn't a whole lot of uh, convective activity but for that new one that has emerged we definitely see lots of activity off the coast of Africa and so uh, this is going to be uh, the trend here and as a matter of fact as we have more and more of these waves especially head into the hurricane season which begins officially next Thursday just a week from now uh, once conditions are conducive these waves can manage to develop as they make their way to the west or to the northwest so we'll definitely have to watch the coast of Africa a lot closer uh, as the hurricane season comes and progresses. And so let's zoom into some areas here. And so uh, as we take a look at Northern South America, we can definitely see lots of convective activity across uh, most territories, sections of most territories. Uh, and that is induced by the uh, instability and loss of moisture within the region. Of course, this is uh, where we have the intertropical convergence zone. So lots Lots of moisture within the area that is induced in that continuous shower and thunderstorm activity we see. And also look just in the vicinity of uh, French Guiana. We can definitely see that new cluster of showers and thunderstorms likely induced by that tropical wave. And so as the day goes on, we can see the development of more of this convective activity over the area, which would in turn lead to some rainfall as well as maybe thunderstorm activity for some areas. And so... Looking up into the vicinity of Trinidad and Tobago, the Grenadines, Grenada, and even St. Vincent, uh, Barbados is slightly covered, but uh, as for Barbados as well, things are looking pretty dry right now. Same story for the ABC Islands. Maybe some high-level clouds moving through, but nothing much uh, taking place at the moment. And maybe a brief shower here and there, but nothing much for the most part. Of course, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the Caribbean. And here we can see that in the vicinity of the Northern Caribbean, lots of shower and thunderstorm activity so uh this is being induced by a low pressure within the area we're going to be taking a look at that very shortly and that low pressure uh is expected to intensify and so uh looking down into uh sections of central america though we can see that definitely some activity especially over western nicaragua so i hope that you guys there uh are enjoying this weather because it has been pretty dry for some time but there we are definitely seeing some uh activity this morning but things looking dry for most of uh, Honduras, Belize, Guatemala, El Salvador, the Yucatan, uh, same story for the Cayman Islands, Jamaica going to most of Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands and uh, all the Lesser Antilles really maybe just some passing clouds at times but nothing much anticipated this morning. Now let's move up a bit more north and here we're seeing all this convective activity, this plethora of activity in the vicinity of the Bahamas and so uh, we have a low pressure area that is developing just around the vicinity of Florida and and we actually have a disturbance highlighted on the National Hurricane Center's map. But throughout today, lots of rainfall activity across the Bahamas and parts of uh, Cuba as well, and likely for Jamaica in the afternoon. So let's go ahead and look at what the NHC has as of this morning. And so here we're seeing where a 10% chance is designated to that low pressure area that is going to be moving into the vicinity of uh, the southeastern US. And so uh, it is unlikely that this is going to be developing into a tropical cyclone or acquiring a name because even though it is expected to intensify it is going to be remaining as a frontal system so it's not tropical in nature however the impacts could still be very significant along the southeastern u.s state such as the carolinas a lot of heavy rainfall rough seas strong winds so guys if you're there that is something that is on the horizon as you're going to be progressing into this weekend 
attendance. So uh, please be aware of that, guys. And so now let's go ahead and talk about the potential rainfall across the region. But firstly, looking at the Saharan earlier maps. So of course, as we head uh as we head more to those shades of oranges, reds, and even that pink, those are more abundant uh, areas of uh, Saharan dust. And we're seeing here that across most of the tropical Atlantic, there isn't a whole lot of uh, Saharan dust. There are some dry air cross sections of the Western Gulf and the Caribbean, but looking out, we're not seeing a whole lot. And this contrasts last year, I believe around uh, this time last year, when there was so much Saharan dust, and that was just inhibiting activity. Uh, rainfall activity from developing since it induces those dry stable conditions but of course now uh, we're seeing that there is quite some activity across some areas as a result of less stability and more instability and moisture so uh, now let's go ahead and talk about the rainfall potential so we're going to be looking at the icon and euro models we're starting out with the euro model here and so we can see that euro is expected and that there will be quite a bit of rainfall across sections of the northern Caribbean. Seeing less totals as we progress more into the vicinity of the northeast, going to Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, the Lesser Antilles. Uh, but the model is definitely showing that there is going to be some activity, quite a bit of activity for northern South America, Colombia, Venezuela, Guyana, Suriname, French Guiana as well. Uh, and maybe for the Pacific coast of the Central American territories. We're heading further inland into the Caribbean uh, coast, not seeing where too much activity is expected. And then uh, the icon model is in agreement with this for the most part. We're seeing uh, the same general areas expected to receive some rainfall activity. So uh, nothing major expected overall across the Caribbean islands as we head throughout today. So guys, that is what is currently happening and that is what is expected as we head throughout today. And I also want to make mention of the fact that uh, NOAA is going to be giving their outlook for this hurricane season later this morning. And so I will be breaking down all their expecting in tomorrow's update so stay tuned for that and that is pretty much it for right now and so i hope that you found this video to be quite informative however if you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comments i'll try to respond as best and soon as i can and of course remember to always be otherwise